The evolution of modern air power has been defined by the pursuit of air superiority, a contest of technology, doctrine, and industrial capability. In the post-Cold War era, two fifth-generation fighters emerged as emblematic of competing design philosophies and strategic priorities. The American Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II and the Russian Sukhoi Su-57 Felon. Both aircraft represent the apex of their nation's aerospace engineering, designed not merely as fighters but as multi-domain combat platforms integrating stealth, network-centric warfare, and advanced avionics. Yet beneath the surface, their differences are profound, reflecting divergent approaches to air warfare. This analysis examines both fighters in terms of design, philosophy, stealth performance, propulsion, avionics, weapon systems, and strategic roles, providing an objective assessment of their relative strengths and limitations. F-35 Lightning II The F-35 program was conceived in the 1990s under the Joint Strike Fighter or JSF initiative, an ambitious effort to create a single, multi-role stealth platform adaptable to the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps, as well as Allied forces. Its design goal was flexibility and affordability through commonality. A single airframe with variants for conventional takeoff, F-35A. Short takeoff vertical landing, F-35B. And carrier operations, F-35C. From its inception, the F-35 was envisioned as a networked sensor platform as much as a fighter, capable of fusing vast amounts of data and sharing it across allied units in real time. Su-57 Felon Russia's Su-57, originally designated PAKFA, Prospective Aviation Complex of Frontline Aviation, emerged from a different context. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia faced the decline of its air power industry and sought to reassert technological parity with the West. Developed by Sukhoi, the first flown in 2010, the Su-57 aimed to replace the aging Su-27 and Su-30 flanker series and provide Russia with a fifth-generation capability. Unlike the F-35, which prioritizes stealth and network integration, the Su-57's concept emphasizes supermaneuverability, speed, and versatility. It was designed to dominate both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. In essence, it blends stealth characteristics with the traditional Russian emphasis on kinetic performance and agility. Airframe and Stealth Design F-35 – Optimized for Low Observability the F-35's airframe represents one of the most refined stealth designs in operational service. Its shape, dominated by smooth surfaces, internal weapon space, and precise alignment of edges, is optimized to minimize radar cross-section, or RCS, from all aspects. The use of advanced radar absorbent materials, or RAM, and seamless panel construction contributes to extremely low detectability, particularly in the X-band frequencies used most by fire control radars. However, these stealth optimizations come with trade-offs. The F-35 sacrifices some aerodynamic agility and top speed compared to legacy fighters. Its stealth coating and complex maintenance requirements also impose high logistical demands. SU-57 – Balanced Stealth and Aerodynamics The SU-57 employs stealth principles, but with less geometric purity than the F-35. Its design includes a blended wing body, internal weapon space, and radar-absorbent composites, but also incorporates features like 3D thrust vectoring nozzles and canard-like leading edge extensions, 
which can compromise radar stealth. Russian designers prioritized maneuverability and energy retention, believing that stealth alone cannot ensure survival once detected. Analysts estimate the Su-57's frontal RCS to be significantly larger than that of the F-35, possibly comparable to 0.1 to 0.5 meters squared versus the F-35's estimated 0.001 to 0.005 meters squared. Nonetheless, its L-band radar arrays in the wings may detect some stealth aircraft at medium ranges, providing partial compensation against low observable adversaries. F-35 Armament the F-35's internal weapons bays can carry up to four air-to-air -air missiles, typically AIM-120D, AMRAMs, or AIM-9X sidewinders, or two precision-guided bombs in stealth configuration. For high-intensity missions, external pylons can expand payload capacity to over 18,000 pounds. Its compatibility with a wide array of Western ordnance, including JASSM-ER, JDAM, SDB-2 and anti-radiation missiles give it enormous flexibility. SU-57 Armament The SU-57 is designed for both internal and external payloads. It features two large internal weapons bays for BVR missiles. A notable strength lies in its ability to deploy hypersonic weapons, including the KH-47M2 Kinzel though operational integration remains uncertain. With up to 10 hardpoints, including external, the Su-57 can carry around 10 tons of ordnance, exceeding the F-35 in total payload, though at the expense of stealth when fully loaded. Combat Doctrine and Strategic Employment F-35, the system-centric fighter. The F-35's doctrine centers on first look, first shot, first kill. It is not designed to win through maneuvering superiority, but through information dominance. Acting as a node within a networked battle space, it identifies and neutralizes threats long before visual contact. This aligns with Western doctrines emphasizing joint force integration, satellite-based command, and multi-domain coordination. In practice, F-35s are expected to operate in mixed formations with fourth-generation fighters providing them with sensor data and targeting solutions, effectively multiplying the lethality of the entire force. Su-57, the pilot's fighter. Russian doctrine continues to value supermaneuverability, endurance, and versatility. The Su-57 is built to dominate contested environments even without full air dominance, using its agility and advanced sensors to survive and strike. In contrast to the F-35's dependence on network systems, the Su-57 aims to maintain high combat effectiveness even in its isolated operations or in the face of heavy electronic interference. This reflects Russia's emphasis on resilience and tactical adaptability over systemic coordination. Export and Future Prospects The F-35 dominates the global fighter market with orders from Europe, Asia, and the Middle East ensuring production through at least 2070. Its upgrade roadmap, including the F-135 engine core upgrade, new sensors, and future AI integration, will keep it at the forefront of Western air power for decades. The Su-57's export prospects are more limited, though nations like India, formerly involved in the FGFA project, Algeria, and possibly Vietnam, have shown intermittent interest. Its long-term success will depend on Russia's ability to scale production and field the Isdaily 30 engine. Conclusion The F-35 Lightning II and Su-57 Felon symbolize two distinct philosophies in modern air warfare. The F-35 embodies the Western focus on stealth situational awareness and network-centric operations, prioritizing information dominance over raw kinematic performance. The Su-57, by contrast, reflects the Russian emphasis on agility, power, and self-sufficiency in contested environments. In a direct confrontation, the F-35's superior stealth, sensor fusion, and coordinated targeting 
would likely allow it to engage first, often decisively. However, in close combat or under degraded network conditions, the Su-57's superior maneuverability and raw performance could provide tactical advantages. Ultimately, the battle between these two aircraft is not just about which fighter is better, but which military ecosystem can leverage its strengths more effectively. The F-35 thrives within a digital alliance structure. The Su-57 stands as a testament to Russia's enduring commitment to independent, high-performance air power. Both define the fifth generation, and together they illuminate the strategic divide shaping the air battles of the 21st century.